Evidence-based care means you're using the best available clinical evidence to help patients make decisions for the treatment of their spinal diagnosis. It means utilizing evidence from the literature based on the research done by us and by others around the world. It means using shared decision making. It means incorporating patients' values and preferences. And it means using the experience of the spine provider all together to help the patient understand what the diagnosis is and to help the patient with the different treatment options and then help the patient in choosing the treatment options that's best for them. Our goal is to understand the patient's diagnosis. Our goal is to help the patient understand what their treatments are. And our goal is to educate the patients, to give them really good information, the best information there is, so that they can synthesize all of this together and come up with the best treatment option for them. And it will be different for everybody. It's a quality of life choice, and we have to educate patients so that they understand what their choices are, what their benefits are, what the potential risks are, and these are all incorporated based on their own preferences and their own goals so that we tailor the treatment to those preferences and those goals. The value to patients of evidence-based care is it really assures that they're getting the best medical care available at this time. It's an aggregate of pieces of information. It's information from the medical literature, from research that's been done around the world. It's incorporating shared decision-making. It's incorporating the patient's own preferences and values, the answers to their own questions, and it incorporates the experience of the healthcare provider who they're, they are seeing. So this aggregate of information is used together to help the patient understand, number one, what is their diagnosis, and what are their many treatment options. Evidence-based medicine is the future of healthcare. We really have to have very, very good data in order to understand the outcomes from our interventions. We need to know what the benefits are, we need to know what the risks are, we need to know what the outcomes are, both in the short term as well as in the long term. We need to be able to look at patients and their families and explain to them if they have a treatment, this is their likely outcome. If they don't have a treatment, this is the likely outcome. And it's really, really important in healthcare in the future because it will allow us to use resources responsibly, to spend healthcare dollars responsibly, to not do unnecessary tests and unnecessary procedures. And the ones that we will do will be based on the patient's knowledge, uh, based on their preferences and based on their goals. And it will be based upon what the literature states are the appropriate treatments and the appropriate outcomes from those interventions. We know from the work done at the Spine Center uh, that evidence-based medicine is a major contributor to good outcomes. It contributes to good outcomes because patients get the treatments they want and they understand what the goals and what the risks are. We also know that incorporating shared decision-making is critical to good outcomes. We know that despite our best efforts in the exam room, patients need more information. We know that up to 25% of patients who actually think that they know which treatment they want change their mind when we use evidence-based medicine data in a shared decision-making format to educate them. Therefore, the patient is very, very satisfied because they've been in, involved in the decision-making process. They understand what the treatment options are, they understand what the potential benefits are, and the potential risks are. So both evidence-based medicine and shared, de shared decision-making are critical components to the work that we do at the Spine Center at Dartmouth. <music>